it's Scout Tech, back at it again with another tent review. This time we'll be reviewing the Tungsten 1P, which is a very nice one-person tent for backpacking and solo trekking. We have the green model here, but there's also an orange one available. Let's take a look. Let's start with the exterior. In front, we have one vestibule with reflective hits all around. The vestibule opens with a zipper right along the ridge and pegs down to the ground with one strap. This is a double zipper, so you can open it from the top as well as the bottom. The full coverage fly is of course waterproof and blocks the wind as well. There is a small scoop vent at the top with a velcro kickstand. There is a footprint included in this tent, which is a nice touch. And finally, the instructions are even included on the inside of the bag, which is before we move on to the body, let's talk specifics. We also switched angles here just to give you a better view of the tent from the side and the scoop vent on top. The tent weighs 3 pounds and 12 ounces, which is a very respectable weight for one person. The pack size is 20 by 6 by 6 inches, but you could probably go smaller if you folded all the parts separately and then packed them. The base of this tent, when set up, is 20 square feet or 1.9 square meters. The ceiling is 33 inches or 97 centimeters up, and the poles are bent at the base on one side to give you a little more sleeping room. Let's have a look at those poles now. Because this tent is so light, Daryl here is going to twirl around the tent to show you the poles. This tent with the fly removed is completely asymmetrical. There are two main poles and they are connected uh, at the top by a large clip for easy setup. On the far side, the doorless side, the poles curve right to the ground. However, on the flip side, the poles are bent to increase the volume of the tent. To make sure you don't get the poles flipped, Marmot has color-coded the clips and the tent print. All the clips are well positioned and they increase the volume of the tent. The body is almost completely mesh, making it very breathable, and the base is the same seam-taped waterproof material that we have come to expect from Marmot. The bathtub base is fairly high to stop splashes or leaks up the side. As mentioned before, this tent only has one small D-shaped door on the front, but this honestly isn't a problem considering the maximum capacity is one person. Inside the tent, you can see just how much space there is. This is definitely not a bivvy. There is plenty of space for Daryl here, who is six feet tall. He can also sit up. We have a single organizational pocket right beside the door, and a clip at the top of the tent for attaching a lantern. Alternatively, you could use the lampshade pocket for your headlamp, which is about halfway up the tent. Are you guys more in favor of carrying a dedicated lantern, or would you be content with using the lampshade pocket? Leave a comment down below. So that's all there is to see with the Tungsten 1P. This tent is intended for use in backpacking or just any lightweight trek for a single person. We don't do a whole lot of solo tent reviews, so if you guys would like to see more, let us know in the comments. We'll see you on the escarpment. If carrying a tent is too much weight for you, you can try sleeping in a tarp in a makeshift shelter.